Hi everyone, my name is Hannah. I'm one of the tutors at Cloakworthy House and I normally teach beginners crochet. Today I'm going to share a short tutorial with you for how to make my rising sun design. I've been crocheting lots during the lockdown because I find crochet really positive for my mental health. Sometimes I'll have a bit of crochet work on my lap with the TV on and it's nice to just zone out and be distracted for a while. But each day I also will use crochet as a way to practice mindfulness. So instead of counting my breaths, I count stitches and this design is really perfect for that. So what I'm going to do is to uh, take you through making the first three rows of the project and then I've got this one which is nearly finished so I'll show you how to do the finishing off on that as well. The first thing we need to do is to make a magic circle because we don't want to have um, a visible hole in the centre of our piece and a magic circle will take care of that. So I've got the little tail in my hand. I am crossing over out towards the tip of my finger back in towards my hand, putting my hook underneath the bottom piece of yarn and then bringing my hook over the top of the top one and pulling it underneath. Twist my hook up to the top so I've got a little loop on there. Pop your hook under the working yarn and pull that through the loop on your hook. Okay, so now make this really big so you can see it got a really big loop here. Maybe this is going to be a lot easier to see. I've got a big loop, but if I pull on the tail, I can make it really small and that'll be a little bigger one. Okay, so I've got my little magic ring there and now it's time for me to put the stitches for my first row in. With treble crochets, you normally would start off with three chains and then you pretend that those three chains are a treble crochet. I am just going to do two because my chains are quite tall. One, two. So you now just pretend that that is a treble crochet and we're gonna put 11 more right into the center there. So. Three. Shove them around as you do them. Keep them nice and tidy beside each other. What did I do? Three? Yeah. got now my 11 treble crochets and my little chain at the start which I'm going to pretend is also a treble crochet so let's say we've got 12 now. Now it's time to tighten up the centre of this ring so this hole is going to disappear. So just pull the tail. Ta -da! And now we need to join the two sides of our row together. So I'm just going to go up to the top of that little chain, so the first stitch on top, put my hook underneath and do a slip stitch to join the two sides together. Snip off my wool and tighten it there. Okay, time for the next colour. Now, hope you can see, I'm going to start off, there's the um, the tail of the yarn I've just cut off. I'm going to start into this little stitch just right beside it and the aim with this row is to put two treble crochets under the top of each stitch. So the first one is going to be our pretend treble crochet, two chains and then a second treble crochet and then we're going to go two, 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 two all the way around and I'm going to keep count to make sure that I get 24 at the end because we need to add 12 stitches in each row. So here we go, slip stitch to join the new colour and then chain two. One, two, now we pretend that that's treble crochet. Put a 
proper triple crochet in beside it. And that's just going to be two triple crochets in each stitch all the way around. Last stitch, 23 and 24. Okay, so there's the front of my work. Again, I need to go up to the top of that little chain at the start and do a slip stitch to join. two rows. 12 stitches in this row, 24 stitches in this row. We need to add another 12 um, as we go on to the next colour. So to do that we're going to start a little pattern of three. So the good thing about making a circle is with each of the subsequent rows on row three there's a pattern of three, on row four there's a repeating pattern of four and so on. <coughs> Again, I'm going to start into the stitch just beside my little uh, knot where I finished off before. Put the little slip stitch. And I'm going to do my fake treble crochet, which is two chains, one, two. And again, I need to pop a little buddy for him. So it's going to be two treble crochets, one treble crochet, two treble crochets, one treble crochet two treble crochets, one treble crochet, going all the way around. Um, and whenever you're doing your pattern, I always think it's one and two together, three is on his own. One and two together, and three is on his own. One and two together, three is on his own. Whenever you get onto row four, it'll be one and two together, three is on his own, four is on his own. One and two together, three is on his own, four is on his own, and so on and so on. So. My first treble, pretend treble. One and two together. Whoops, there's number three. Gets a little stitch of his own. And then we repeat that pattern. So one and a second one inside it. One and two together. Number three gets a stitch of his own. is when it's good to have been keeping count because sometimes it's easy to miss the very last stitch. One, two together and if I hadn't been keeping count I think I could easily have missed that third one because it's not terribly obvious where to put it but I know I need to put it somewhere so there we go. Whoops. I forgot to yarn over. I was going to do a wrong stitch. Number three on its own. Okay, and then go up to the top of your chain, find the stitch, and slip stitch to join. Nice and tight. So there we go, I've got my first three rows of my sun. And as you go on with your next rows, it's exactly the same thing, join in on the same place. It's always one and two together, and then you'll have three on its own, four on its own, one and two together, three on its own, four on its own. That's how it'll go for row four. And the same thing with row five, you're just, you're spreading out those one and two together slightly further apart as you go. So I'm gonna go on now to showing you how to do the finishing off. Once you have got all of your rows finished, I have got seven rows in my piece, we can fold it over into the little semicircle shape. And as you can see there, I didn't bother weaving in any of the ends. They're gonna be sewn inside here, so it doesn't really matter about that. And I also have popped on 
a couple of safety eyes on mine, but you could maybe use a button or just um, a couple of stitches, maybe a French knot might look nice for eyes. And then for my mouth, what I did was I used my thumb as a template and did a couple of little stitches in red around that. You will also want to make your cheeks. The cheeks are again starting off with a magic circle and two chains and then 11 treble crochets into the centre in your rosy cheek colour. Um, before you do this next part you'll want to sew your cheeks on. I am just going to go ahead with the next part because I'm going to rip it out again afterwards to be honest. So uh, make sure you've got your little cheeks sewn on first. What I've got here is um, just a cardboard circle, it's just from the inside of a cereal box and I drew around one of our cereal bowls because it just happened to fit um, about the right shape. Cut it out and fold it in half to make a semicircle. And that's going to fit inside here to keep it um, in shape. You could just sew this up with a needle and thread but I am going to crochet mine together because I think it looks nice and tidy. Use this same colour that you've used for your outer um, your outer row. I'm just going to use yellow so that it's obvious to see what I'm doing. So here we go. Start off with I'm just going to take that wee tail and pop it, fold it inside. Okay. Right. So these in place. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put the hook through both sides of the piece. So in through this stitch and then on out through the corresponding stitch on the other side. Yarn over and we're just slip stitching here so we're pulling it through the work and then on through the little loop on the hook and tighten it up. And we're going to slip stitch all the way along. So the reason I'm doing that is because it's not going to give any extra height to that row. Um, because then that row would look a bit different to the other ones. So this way, instead of it depositing any stitches on top, it leaves the little stitches on the front of the work. You'll not even really be able to see them because you'll be working in the same colour, but um, I do think they really neaten off the look of the piece as well. Um, I did a couple of these where I sewed the top with a blanket stitch I, th I thought this really just made it look a bit tidier at the end. Okay, so you can see how that's working um, to hold it together. It's lovely and tidy on top there. Once you've got through to about uh, two thirds of the way along, don't close up too much, <laughs> you can pop your cardboard inside to really pull it into shape and then just keep doing your slip stitches all the way around to the end and of course you'll already have your cheeks on your piece and then just add a bit of wool to hang it up with and you'll have your very cute little rising sun. If you do have a go at this design or if you have been crocheting during the lockdown why not pop a picture into the comments below because we would love to see what everyone has been making. Bye!